Hey guys, what's up? It's Miles here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make an intro for your YouTube videos without having to pay for expensive programs like Cinema 4D and Adobe After Effects. If you guys end up enjoying the video, all I'm asking is that you guys end up dropping a like and maybe even subscribe if you guys are feeling generous. Also drop a comment below if you guys are a part of the Naughty Gang and have my channel notifications on. But anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So anyways, the first thing that I want you guys to do is go on your computer, it can be on Mac or Windows, it works on both, and just go to the link in the description below and it should take you to Panzoid Clip Maker. And when you're there, when you click on the link, it should look very similar to the screen that you guys see on my screen right now. So right here, when you get to the site, you're going to see some of the most popular templates on the left side right here. But what I recommend you guys do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit more creations. And then it might ask you to leave the site. And if it does, just hit the leave button. And then you guys should see a screen very similar to this one right here. So from here, you can actually start looking for whatever intro you want to check out. And the cool thing about this site is that you can actually filter it by category. So let's say I hit categories and I only want to look at upbeat intro. So I click upbeat and now I see a bunch of upbeat intro templates, which is like super dope. It goes down for a bunch of pages too. So you can just look through it, take your time and just find one you like. Uh, all right. So this one looks pretty cool. I think this is like one of the first ones I actually saw and it, I like it because it matches like my channel art on my actual YouTube channel. So if you guys are looking for a template, I would recommend trying to make it match with like maybe your logo colors or like, I don't know, like your normal brand colors. But anyways, when you do find a template that you like, all you have to do is click it and then open it in Clip Maker. Now, when it opens up, don't worry about the text that you see right here. Like for me, it says template, but for you, it might say like your name or like test or template or something like that. We are going to be changing that to like your actual channel name later on in the tutorial. And it was to actually preview what this template intro is going to look like. All you have to do is click the little eyeball right here. And then from there, just hit the play button. All right, and then enough of that. That was kind of loud, but uh, it seems like I like it. Um, I'm not too sure how long this is. Let me just quickly let it play out. Um, 10, 11, 12. All right, it's only like 12 seconds, so it's not too bad. Um, but I think I'm going to go with this one. So if you don't like the one that you just previewed, all you have to do is just scroll down here and just go ahead and look for some more creations until you find one you like. But when you do finally find the one that you like, all you have to do is just click the eyeball button right here once more and it will reset the view back to what it was originally. Alright, so now the first thing that we want to do is go to the basic tab right here. It's kind of like a little checkbox right here. And right away, we want to change our video resolution to what we normally record our footage in. So for me personally, I would keep mine at 1080p because I make my videos in 1080p. If you only make your videos in 720p, then click this and then just change it to 720p and so on and so forth. And the same thing goes for frame rate too. I record my videos in 60 FPS, so I'm going to keep that at 60. If you guys do yours in 30 or 60, just go ahead and do that. There's a pretty good chance that your settings might not align with mine right here, but it's totally okay. Now the length in seconds right here is actually going to be how long your intro is going to be. Now I personally hate it when like an intro is longer than, I don't know, like 7 seconds and I know a lot of people actually personally end up clicking off of a video if the intro is longer than 10 seconds. So just keep that in mind when you guys are picking a template. Now of course you can change the seconds right here by like dragging up and down or like you can actually like click on it and like type in a normal number like this. And that's totally good too. I'm not going to really change it because it's just a tutorial but feel free to do whatever you guys want to. But anyways moving on from that, what we want to click on now is going to be this little cube thing which should let us edit our objects. So now when you open this up for the first time, you're going to see a ton of groups and honestly it can get a little overwhelming because you're not really too sure what you should be looking for. So the only thing that you guys should be worried about right now is going to be the text object. So just look for it and see if you find anything that says text. And so I have three in my template right here. You guys might have like four or five. Some of you guys might only have one as well. So if you have like three, that means you're going to have to edit the text three times. So now I'm going to click the first one right here and I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to change it from template to M-U-A-A-Z, which is my name and my channel name. From there hit enter and I did it once, but now I have to do it two more times. So um, M-U-A-A-Z, enter, and then once more M-U-A-A-Z, enter. So as you can see, now it looks perfect. Before it had like template right there and now it says Moz and there's actually three layers of text um, like right behind Moz. So we have the blue one, then we have the gray one, and then we have the black one right behind it. So keep in mind, it's all going to totally depend on the intro that you pick, but it, you might have more text objects than I did or you might have less or you might have the same amount. So just go ahead, look through and find as many text objects as you can. They're more than likely just going to be at the top like mine were right here. And from there, you should be good to go. You can actually also change like colors and size and textures of the font as well. But keep in mind, if you do it to one of the text layers, you will have to do it to all three or all four or however many. So let's say I want to change the color for this one. Um, I scroll down. Um, this one is black. So I think the second one is probably going to be blue. Yeah. So this one is blue. I can click it and I can change the color to, I don't know, green or something. Then I hit choose right here. And as you can see, like there's a little green fade onto it now. I, it's probably kind of hard to see. I probably have to change this one as well. Change this to green, hit choose, and as you can see, like now it's green. Obviously, these colors don't match. I'm just like trying to show you guys for the tutorial purpose, but if you guys do change like the textures or something for one, there's a pretty good chance that you will have to change it for all the text objects. So just go through it, take your time and play with it, and you guys should find something that you end up liking. Now, I'm just going to quickly mute the volume where I already had it muted, and I'm going to hit the little eyeball button once more and hit play just to see what it looks like now. 
Yeah, honestly, like this does not look that bad at all. So I'm just going to pause it once more, hit the eyeball button again so it can reset the view, and now I'm going to continue on with the tutorial. Moving on from that, I do want to quickly show you guys how you can actually add your own music to the intro in case you guys don't like like the stock sound that comes with it. So all you have to do for that is just go to the music button right here. And then from here, you'll see audio file. Just hit the select button and you can look for, you can look through your entire computer, your all your hard drives and all that good stuff and find a song that you actually like. I've actually made a video on how you can actually get some good copyright free music for your YouTube videos or like your intros and things like that. So definitely check it out in case you guys do want to replace the audio that's already in the intro. But I'm not going to be doing that because I personally feel like um, all, the, all the intro templates have a pretty solid like audio track already. And the reason why I like them so much already is because they match really well with like the beat drops and the animations that are happening in the intro. So that's why I'm going to keep this one. But obviously it's totally up to you guys and what you guys want to do. Now, when you guys are like completely done making your intro, you pick the songs and all that good stuff, like you guys are happy with your intro, we will have to download it to our computer because of course we will want to use it in like our um, editing program. So to do that, go to the download button right here and then from there we will want to change the mode to either good quality or extreme quality. I'm just going to pick good quality though because I don't want to take too long like actually rendering the file. And then for format, you can either do MKV or WebM. Um, I highly recommend trying MKV first and see if that works with your video editing software and if that doesn't work, then go ahead and try WebM but I'm going to do MKV for this one. From there just hit start video render and then hit allow right here and it's going to actually start rendering your video. Now this step might take a few minutes depending on how long your intro is and also the effects that happen in it like in the template so I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Okay, uh, I wasn't on my phone or anything. So uh, basically when your video is done rendering, uh, what you want to do is hit the download your video button from right here and it is going to open up a new tab and one, it's either going to ask you where you want to save it to on your computer. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. You can name it like intro or something like that. I'll just name it intro. Then from there, just hit save or it's going to automatically download to where everything else is saved on your computer. So when that's done, I'm going to quickly open it up right now and we're going to see how it looks. But anyways guys, when you guys finally have your file, all you have to do is just drag the file into the beginning of your timeline in your video editing software, and your next video should have an intro in it. It's pretty, it's, it's honestly as simple as that. It was a pretty simple tutorial, I think it only took a couple of minutes, I hope you guys did end up enjoying it. Um, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, then please hit that like button and subscribe, as hitting 200k before the year ends would be awesome. And also turn on notifications if you guys haven't already, and join the Noti Gang. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.